Hey guys, this is Manak, your civil bro, and welcome. So today we will going to discuss what is the procedure for foundation or footing design in the Tecla Structural Designer. So in the previous video, we had designed a building in the Tecla Structural Designer software. And in today's video, we'll see how to design the foundation. So foundation design, uh, when we see in the Tecla Structural Designer software, I have tried many software. So as far as isolated footing, is concerned it gives very economical design and practically executable design in field also there is a choice that you can uh, design using a single layer of reinforcement or double layer of reinforcement so this is pretty cool and pretty convenient for a structural designer so uh another heads up while you know doing the foundation design is there is a common uh, warning if you're using indian codes or the is code there is a common warning of development length not provided so that is actually glitch in the software i have already reported this to trimble so don't worry if there is a warning of development length in your uh, system if you're using indian code i'm sure if you're using european code and i, I also checked that if you're using european code if you're using us code or any other codes design code then this warning will not come okay so let's see the procedure first of all you need a building which is uh, you know fully uh, loaded all the loadings are applied it is a design uh, as we had done in the previous video prior to this video you can check that video out and after that your analysis and design is complete so after the analysis and design is of the building is complete then and only then you can apply the foundation and design them so first of all before starting to design the foundation just pull the foundations and go to the settings so this is basically the normal settings and in terms of the foundations so since we'll be covering pile foundation sorry isolated foundations today so we'll see only the isolated foundation settings so i have chosen the country and we have gone with this uh, fe500 and let's say uh, we'll give the reinforcement uh, here so i want a minimum dia of 10 mm and uh, maximum dia uh, you can give as per your preference and uh, we'll just give 16 mm dia here and click on ok and spacing also you can just clear minimum clear spacing is 100 which is you know obvious you can just reduce it and to 80 and maximum uh spacing uh, just go ahead and do this to 200 and maximum secondary bar spacing also will do 200 and bar spacing increment that is if it fails then it will increase by 25 which is also okay and use mesh where possible this is not required that much when you go over pile cap we'll see that basically the same and the foundation size these all settings will keep as a default there is no is not necessary to change anything so we'll just click on save and it will save the settings for uh, as long as the software you are using just click on ok and after that you got to do nothing just uh, you have to click on pad base column here and after you click on pad base column uh, you just have to insert the soil characteristics from the soil test report suppose you had to design the foundation at a depth of uh, let's say 1.5 meter so at 1.5 meter whatever the soil test report suggests the soil unit weight and the uh, you know the uh, allowable bearing capacity you have to insert suppose the allowable bearing capacity of as per my soil test report is 120 so 120 kilonewton per meter square so i have inserted the particular value of 120 here and after that these uh, characteristics other things you don't need to change because already we have done in the settings and if you want a you know top bars you can just uh, select this top bars here right now we don't want the top bars because this is only uh, you know g plus g building and uh, we don't want to design by top reinforcement only by bottom reinforcement okay so i am just clicking here like this and you know all the Footings, all the columns which we observe here, the foundations are applied as you can see here. So after that, we're just going to click on design pad basis and your foundations will be designed uh, depending upon the size of your model. So uh, as I had told, foundation is designed and there is warning. And if there is a warning of development link, you don't need to worry. You just check here, I click on escape, then right click, then check member. And as you see, all the characteristics are passed and there is only a warning of development length i told you it is a glitch 
and development link because already already in the column design if you observe that we are providing the development link if i'm just going to show you that what i am trying to say uh, generate you can click on generate drawing here and click on ok so the drawing will open in autocad and just I'll just click on the column and uh, you can see the column drawing here of this particular footing so as you can see the development length of is already provided in the bottom most uh, you know portion here as you can see here 16 mm bars six bars of 16 mm have already been provided so development length is already provided so don't need to worry it is only a uh, you know glitch of the software which might be corrected in the future and the remaining parts is okay so the easiest way i'll tell you the easiest way to see the details of the foundation you can see all the foundation from here of different uh, sizes uh, but for the easiest way just go to the foundation level uh, which is you go to levels and we'll go to the foundation level double click on the foundation level and it is open and then i'll go to draw and uh, we will first begin with the uh, schedule. So foundation layout, just click on the foundation layout. You can just, you know, save the file you know, at a specified location if you want. Uh, suppose I'll just save it in uh, this particular folder, default folder, and then click on OK. So the foundation layout will open here. So this is the, all the things which you need for the foundation design. Firstly, you have the foundation uh, layout and uh, you here you'll find the sizes of the foundation and then you will have the uh, sections here. Suppose this is uh, a particular foundation and if your uh, design is not visible, you can also make the you know, changes here. Suppose I want to make them all in a single black layer and so that it is visible and you can see this 12 mm reinforcement in a uh, footing of 1600 to 1600, 12 mm rebars, uh, obviously after giving the cover of 50 or 75, and it is at a spacing of 200 center to center along the both sides. Whereas as you can see in this footings, you have 16 mm bars at a spacing of 200. So like this, you have the footings and you have the footing details here. The length of the footing on the both sides, the depth of the footing, and the bars in both directions. Since we have not selected the top reinforcement, we don't have the top reinforcement. If you want the top reinforcement while you know uh, just selecting, uh, go, well, suppose I'm just doing it back again, selecting uh, foundation, pad base column, you just have to select this option of your mesh. Okay, then you will have the top bars as well. Okay. So, but uh, basically the bottom, if you only have the bottom bars, it's more convenient. Usually in combined footing, we go for the, you know, both the bars or, you know, in single footing also, we can go for both the top and bottom, depending on your, you know, uh, requirements, the design is the same. Okay. So this is the, you know, simple design of your foundations here. And you can see the design is pretty much, uh, you know, economical here and practically possible design, which is happening. Also, uh, the advantage is that, uh, you will just uh, have the output drawings with you. So it is much more easier to present the drawings to your client or, uh, you know, in your uh, particular final drawings. So uh, if you have heard about this software for the first time, make sure you watch all the other remaining videos uh, in my channel uh, to learn more. And I hope this can be useful in your career and uh, will add a new weapon for this and for anything uh, related to civil engineering you can contact me or if any uh, particular video about, about tech textile designer stat pro etabs or civil side uh, which you want to uh, know uh, from me i uh, can just comment below and uh, if possible i'll make a video on that for all of you guys so wherever you are stay safe stay happy happy sunday to all of you bye bye